Probably just got a failed plug now. Well, I think the plug keeps getting a bit wet for some reason. We already cleaned it once, it started up all right. Come back and uh, won't start again. But there it is, nice old plug. So make sure we've got a bit of spark, which we should have. Ah, oh, look, that button's stuck down. Yep, plenty of spark. Plenty of spark. Good start now. As long as we batteries are a little bit low in there, but never mind. Point you back up there and hopefully we'll be away. So far we seem alright, let's put the lid on.
I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think it would last too long. Gone again. Thanks, Nitro Tech. Thanks a lot. That's a reminder. Buy nothing from Nitro Tech. Yep, buy nothing from Nitro Tech because, um, well, nothing works. It's been about a year and a half now, still doesn't work. So, that was the little square things glued on with Gorilla Glue. So, obviously that's not going to work either, unfortunately. So what do I do now? You know, there are plenty of ways I could fix it. I need to, if I, had, if I had a pillar drill, I could drill through the little axle. I, I'm, what I'm going to do next, because Nitro Tech, are, well, they're just ridiculous. They won't help me out unless I pay them, which is stupid, because they sold me 40 items. Probably sold loads of people 40 items. In fact, I've watched a few videos of this truck, this truggy thing. And in them videos, they've all done the same thing. And people at the time, like I didn't know, they didn't know either. But, um... So, you know, they won't help me out. So what I'm going to do next, um, the next thing I'm going to do is grind a little, another, because there's meant to be a flat spot, but it's now a round spot, but I'm going to re-grind the flat spot if I can get them off again, but obviously the glue's broken, so I'm going to get it off. Um, I'm going to re-grind the flat spot and make it really, really, really flat. Hopefully them little grub screws will be out of grip on it this time. So that's what I'm going to do next. It's just ridiculous, man. I've had it a year and a half, and I've only... You, well, you've seen the whole footage of this time. You've seen every time, every single time I've used this truggy, it's been on camera, and you've seen the video. So, I've probably used it maximum of 10 minutes, if you add it all up. And I haven't been able to use it each time, because it's broken within the first 30 seconds or a minute. So, stupid, really. I learned my lesson never to buy anything from cheap places like Nitro Tech because they're stupid. Customer service is stupid. Everything's stupid about them, really. Never mind. It'll be, it will be working. Well, I could get it working in no time if I actually put some effort into it. But because of the fact that, you know, I don't think I should have to fix it. I think Nitro Tech should fi fix it or send me the part to fix it. They said themselves, oh yeah, we've got a replacement part because we know it's broken. We know that we know they were all faulty, you know, bad design. But they won't send it to me. They want me to pay for it, which is stupid. So there you go.